So like I said today, we're going to be doing our um, little Ramadan crescent moon with the buildings and stuff. And I'll show you guys as we go along. Um, um, I don't have the exa an example with me. It's actually just, you know, something that I have off the top of my head. But if you girls are all ready to go, then we can go ahead and get started. Um, we're going to start out, of course, drawing lightly. Um, but for the moon and star, since this is, we're not doing like a character or anything, we don't really need um, guidelines or anything, but um, to make our crescent moon sort of, you know, make it easier to make it sort of round and kind of even, I do want to start out with a big circle. So this isn't like a guideline. This is just going to help us make our little crescent moon nice and even. All right, so I'm doing it kind of lightly because I want to be able to erase whatever I don't want later, but I'll make it a little darker for you guys so you guys can see properly. All right, here we go. All right, we've got a big old circle going. So once I got that, then um, for our uh, crescent moon, once you guys have the circle, I'm gonna start right over here. I'm gonna just sort of make that little crescent half sort of moon from the inside of my circle. So my crescent moon is gonna to start to look like this. Oops. Got something on my table. All right. All right, so um, what we're gonna do is we are going to now, like I said, we're gonna do the little, um, start the little building, the little city inside of our moon. So um, I'm gonna start with the middle one first. So for the middle one, we're going to be drawing two lines. They're gonna come upwards like this. Up like that. That it's almost like a, sort of, not mushroom shape, I don't know what, but this is a very Islamic um, building shape. It's got sort of that uh -huh. rounded sides and the pointed top of the roof. So you want it to look kind of like that. It's almost like an upside down heart, but not quite. Right. So we've got that, we've got our first little now we need to do a little window. So we're gonna just do a little sort of rounded window like that right in the middle, right in the middle of our little building here. So got that sort of pointed top again and then draw the rest of the little window. So I'll pause for a second because I don't wanna be going too fast for anyone tiny windows. I'm going to do four little tiny windows up top above that line. Just real quick, four tiny little windows. Just like that. Four very cute tiny little windows. And now our, the top of our roof has sort of this little pattern to it. So I'm going to add just two lines of this little pattern to the top there. So I want to add a teeny tiny little diamond on top there. And then I want to add a little diamond right here. A little bit different. I'm going to be starting with a little sort of rectangular square shape. Two more little lines on top of that square that we already did. All right. And then I'm going to make that same sort of dome, pointed dome shape on top of that for our second little building. Building, house, whatever you want to call it.
um, we're going to draw one more building and then we're going to do the star and then we'll add some more details and then we can outline this and then color it as well. So it'll be fun to color this together. So. So we were going to have a little hanging star because you guys are eager to do the star. So I will do the star with you girls. So from the tip of our little crescent moon, I'm going to draw a little line coming down. And to do the star, I'm going to start out by, you know, drawing a star in the way I think we all know how to draw one is making that sort of all those little lines to make your star, right? But how I'm gonna make this different is I'm going to erase my lines on the inside of the star so it's a solid star. And then I'm gonna add, just so that it looks like they're all connected, I'm just adding a line in between them. So we have our beautiful little crescent moon with our lovely buildings. Now I'm going to, where is my, I have my pen. I'm going to outline very quickly my whole crescent moon. I'm gonna go in and outline my, um, my little city as we go along. So yes, <laughs> so once you are done coloring it in with markers, you can always go back and outline it afterwards because um, you know Sharpie or pen will just go right over markers since it's not like color pencil or anything, so. I love it, love it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and grab my neon oil pastels and I'm going to color in my star, this very neon bright yellow color, just like this, just like this. all of the little stars. Let's see, I have to figure out exactly what colors I want to color the, my building. I think I'm going to color this one. I think I'm going to do some neon green. Well, we have our little colored in moon and star Ramadan drawing. All right, I will see you next week, okay? Bye. Bye. Nafis, we'll see you later.